Okay, chapter 8.2 continued. What we're going to do is choosing numbers. Choosing numbers for x. So many times when students see a, an equation like this, and they're supposed to make a table, choose numbers for x, they don't know which numbers to choose. Should they choose 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, what? What's the best number to choose? Well, for equations with fractions, for equations with fractions, We're going to choose a denominator number, you know, whatever the denominator is, we're going to choose that number for x. We'll choose 0 for x. And the opposite of the denominator number. The opposite of the denominator number. Okay, so these are the three types of three types of numbers that we're going to choose for x. Okay, look at look at example one. We have a four in the denominator. Okay, so I'm going to choose the denominator number as one of the numbers for x. I'm going to choose three numbers. First one is the denominator number. The second one's going to be zero. And the third one is going to be the opposite of the denominator. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. Okay, those are the three numbers that we will choose whenever you have a fraction. Look at the denominator, choose the denominator, 0, and the opposite of the denominator. Okay, let's see, if we choose these numbers for x, for example, if I put a 4 in there for x, uh, the 4's cancel, right, they reduce, and you're just left with 1. You're just left with 1. 1 plus 3, that is 4. What a coincidence. All right, now let's put 0 in there. If I put 0 for x, uh, 0 times 1 fourth, 0 times anything is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3. Now let's put negative 4 in there. Uh, the 4s will cancel, reduce, and you're left with just a negative, or negative 1. So 1 times negative 1, that's just negative 1. So this whole thing becomes negative 1. And so negative 1 plus 3 is how much? 2. And so now you found your x and y values. And you can, you can graph this. Okay, so choose 4, 0, and negative 4. Denominator, op, 0, and the opposite. Let's go to example number two. We look at the denominator. It's a two. So I'm going to use a two. I'm going to next use a zero. And then the opposite of the denominator. That's negative two. Those are the three numbers that I will use for x. Let's now go ahead and plug those in and see what we end up with. Okay, well, the twos, they cancel or they come out to one. So that's just, I just now have 3, right? Because 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Next, I'll put a 0 in there for x. 0 times anything is 0. So it's like this whole thing just disappears. And you're left with negative 4. The last one, I'll put negative 2 in there. Now, when I do that, can you see that? Can you see that um, it'll just be like this? The twos reduce, and you're left just with negative three, because this all ends up being negative one. Negative one times three is just negative three. Okay, so it's just kind of a, a shortcut there. So I have negative three and negative four. Negative three minus four. Negative three and negative four is negative seven. Okay, example three, I look at the denominator. I want to choose some numbers for x. I see it's five, I'm going to use a five. I'm going to use zero. And then I'm going to use the opposite of five. 
negative 5. Okay, now I have my three numbers for x. I plug those in. And when I do it here, notice the 5's cancel. It just ends up being 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Next, I'll put a 0 in there for x. If I do, see that all becomes 0. So that's like it's gone. You're just left with positive 2 plus 2. Now I'll put a negative 5 in there. Now can you see the 5's reduced to 1 or negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 is just negative 4. So all this together comes out to negative 4. So what is, I'll just scratch that up, negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Okay, so now you know how to handle it if you have fractions. Denominator, number, zero, and, and uh, the opposite. Okay, we've done three problems like that. Hey, what happens for equations? Let's go down here. How about for equations without fractions? By the way, this is a symbol for without. If you put a zero, uh, an O in there. Without fractions. You can choose any number from negative 10 up to 10. From negative 10 up to 10. And the reason why is because most of the graphs just go from negative 10 to 10. But actually you can choose any number. All right, let's take a look at this first one here. All right, so what number do you want to use? Always use zero, though. Please, always do that. It's the easiest. Because if you put a zero in there, look, all you have left is four. Okay, so always choose zero. And if you want to, you can just choose zero you know, one, two, if you'd like. Whatever's easiest for you. Okay, matter of fact, I'll even do that for the other one. You know, zero, one, two, three. If you want to put negatives in there, put negatives in there. That's fine. And that is pretty much it. By the way, the reason why we chose these numbers, the uh, denominator zero and the opposite denominator, is because if we did not we would not be able to get rid of that denominator down there. Okay? And, and it would be a fraction. It'd be a, it would not end up a, a nice rounded integer for us. That's why we chose those numbers.